Hello guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model uh, this uh, this shape. Okay, so come. So this is a project uh, by BRJ, and it's here. So this one. Okay, so uh, when we look at this shape, uh, we probably think. Um, about mass, but actually this this one can be quite easily uh, modeled using generic model or just uh, some. You uh, I think it's a swept blend. We can use swept blend to model this shape quite easily. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. And oh, sorry. Um, just uh, uh, sorry about my voice. I just got uh, some uh, a bit cold, maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. So first, let's just create a reference plan. Okay, our pain, and I'll name it. Let's call it one. And then go to South Elevation. Now I'm going to set the word plan and on this reference plan. One. So now I'm going to just model some uh, model line. Uh, I will need two model line. Okay. So for for the path of that uh, swept blend. Okay. So use start and radius. So I'm going to just draw a half circle, something like this. Okay. So maybe let's make it 30 meter. So okay, and then. We will need another one. I'm going to use a uh, mirror, so DN, and that's the other one. So now, if you go to 3D view, so you will see these two model lines. Okay, and let's just do all the modeling in 3D view. So I'm going to use model in place, and also I'll use generic model uh, category, and OK. So now let's use a swept blend and pick path and pick one of the, the two, one of the two uh, model lines okay so now we need to finish this path and go edit profile okay so the profile the first one is this one so we need to just draw a rectangular shape so roughly I guess uh, something like this okay so maybe uh, now I need about 24 okay so finish it and then edit profile 2 I think so and then edit profile so this one needs to be draw here so I'll use the same size it will be now I need about 25 but uh, I will relocate relocate this one uh, is that 24 or 25 24 I think Okay, so now select all these four lines and move it to the center to this uh, reference uh, reference plan. Maybe. Okay, so now this is a half of that shape. So finish it and finish it. So okay, so now we have half of the shape. Okay, so now you can s simply uh, select this. And MM mirror and pick this face. Okay, so of course this is not correct. So we just need to select this part, edit blend. So um, actually, what I'm going to do is uh, because we just mirror that, the path the, the the path won't uh, the path of this shape won't link to the the reference. Oh, sorry not the the model line and so when we move when we later on we might need to move the reference line or oh sorry move the reference plan or move the reference line this uh, shape will not follow uh, will not follow that reference plan so it's good it's a good idea to pick par delete this one and pick this again. So this way, it will you will create this link between the the solid to and this uh, model line. Okay. 
Okay, so, so now finish this path and then let's find the so the, the profile at the top is correct. So we just need to find the the one uh, the on the bottom. Okay, so which is this one. Looks like it's profile one. So because if you click on profile one it shows this uh this little cross and if you click on this it shows that one. So go, click on profile one and edit profile. So we just need to move this profile to the other side and then finish it and finish it. So now you will see we have created this shape. And then we can join them and to get rid of all the lines. Okay, so now we need to uh, model the sum. So uh, see a platform here and uh, also on the other side. Okay, so let's go to ground floor and create a extrusion. So first let's pick this edge and then let's draw a so a line. So when you draw this line, be very careful because uh, if you try to not touch, try not um, to touch this edge because this is a curved edge, and when you have um, curved edge with you know flat uh, edge, and then when you try to join them, it, it's uh, a lot of time uh, very. Um, likely it won't work it will you will break that the the, the family you will break break them some of them would like uh, uh, disappear so try to try to not uh, touch that curved edge so let's try this one so oh here let me just uh, make it perpendicular yep okay so finish it go to 3d view uh, adjust this uh, to match the thickness join no okay. so this is something uh, wait, uh, um, it will happen so let's just control Z uh, maybe I'll just uh, how, uh, where is it uh, let's go to 3 uh, it's there so let's edit extrusion so what we can do is we can just rotate it a little bit up so RO space or just rotate it up by uh, maybe half degree so see if it works okay so finish go to 3d view join them again yep yeah. okay so this time it works okay so um, yeah because at least here it, it, it um, it's a very smooth choice, so we'll just uh, uh, remove that line, but we still have that line here. That's, that's okay because uh, it will be uh, eventually. I think we we will we will maybe hide them under the water. <laughs> okay, so um, okay, so let's go back to Revit. Yeah, okay. So now we can just for uh, uh hang on, let me select uh, it won't let me oh won't let me select that part. What's happening? Um I have no idea. Let's go to 3 view. So select yes I can. Let's go to ground floor. I still have it select. Uh yes, but Oh, ah, anyway, let's mirror it. So MM, I'll just pick uh, uh, pick this this reference plan. Okay, so it will goes down, but still I can't see it. It's weird. So let me just close this one. I'll use WT. I'll type WT, so I can see both uh, 3D view and all the floor plan. Okay, so now I'm going to select this. And because I can't see it here, so I need to use 3D view and go to this floor plan. And I still have that part selected, so but I'm going to do it, mirror it in here. So I'm going to pick this place, it will go up there. So now we can delete this one, and that's it. So we can join them, yeah, no problem. Okay, so 
I think that's that's basically that's that's the shape. And of of course, you can always change it. So if you think I uh, uh, that's not uh, thick enough, you can always edit the edit the profile. So go edit profile. So for example, I'll change this to um, maybe fifteen meter. And also finish. Go this profile, edit profile. I'll change this to fifteen meter as well. And also finish this and go to this profile uh, sorry this uh, swept blend edit edit profile edit profile so pick this one 15 meter and finish and edit another profile oh, which one this one yep edit profile and 15 meter as well and I finish and finish okay so yeah, uh, don't worry about too much about this because if, uh, or maybe we can just um, model the the water to hide them. Okay, so that's um, I think that's it. So yeah, of course you can make if you want to you can make make it wider. Okay, so now I'll just quickly also quickly show you. So if you want to add some glazing, of course you can do that. Uh, because this is a generic, generic model, you can use it as a, just like a, uh, you can use them to place, uh, uh, I think, a system, uh, what's the curtain system. And also, you can place a lot of things use generic model. So, for example, you, you can use this as a, a mass. Okay, so for example, I'll just place a wall so let me just oh, sorry click on wall I'll just choose a generic or maybe 300 more and you can pick face and you can pick this generic model okay just just like you pick a mass that's what I uh, said okay you can pick a wall oh this is a very thin 300 wall but that's fine so it's because of the scale of this. Uh, maybe let's make it 600 thick. Okay, so it looks okay. So 600 wall. So you can create another one here. So another wall here. Okay, so yep, hit in line. And then you can also use uh, you. I don't think you can use curtain wall. Uh, let's try. See if you can do it. Okay, curtain wall. Pick face, no, you can't do it. But you can use curtain system. Okay, so curtain system create. Oh, sorry, you need to f pick face first. So one, two, okay. So create system. And this is very similar to curtain wall. So you can select this the whole curtain system. And so for for example, I'm going to looks like there's no um, horizontal volumes so you can turn one of them out so uh, I'm not sure which one I'll just uh, should be uh, should be this one should be this one so now and we the, yep all good and also you can uh, you can give them so this is grid two grid two volume you can give them the volume so for example I'll just use this volume and also I'll just use uh, I'll change this to a little bit maybe uh, let's make it 24 and also you can just uh, give the, the glaze panel to it so if I if you click apply okay and let's change to shade SD so you will see it becomes a glass and eventually you will just just need to delete delete that generic model okay so that's it uh, HR and what else yeah of course there will be some structure but um, yeah for this uh, shape and this is it so it's just generic model with uh, uh, with uh, what's that called? Swept blend. 
and some system uh, curtain system wall by face okay so let's place some other wall uh, pick you can't look yeah looks like you can't create if, if this face is horizontal you can't place a wall you probably need to create a, a floor yeah maybe you don't you, you don't even need this you just need to uh, draw a floor okay so that's that's it uh, I hope you I hope you like it <laughs> okay so I'll see you yeah so, sorry about my voice uh, yeah just um, I think it, sh it should be the reaction of my flu jab uh, not COVID okay I'll see you next time thank you stay safe bye